fun to do bad things and drive into a car. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're working on the GS300. We're gonna give it full attention just because the IS300 is ready to go and we're drifting next week at Winter Jam. Super excited, so if you guys are in the area and you guys are at Winter Jam, don't be afraid to ask for a ride along because I'll be there. But today, we're headed to the shop to work on this car. So I drove this car to work, which is about 30 miles away from my house, and the steering wheel was shaking, and you know, I got alignment, I got the wheels balanced, I got new tires, in and out are new, lower ball joints are new, and um, I just put hub centric rings. And the hub centric rings helped a lot, but I suspect my rotors are causing the wheel shake. And yes, I know, rotors mostly cause wheel shake when you brake. But on my IS300, my car was shaking like crazy on freeway speeds, like at 60 miles per hour. And once I changed the rotors, they were gone completely. I think they were just that warped that at speeds they were causing the wheels to shake. And I believe this is the same thing because this shakes like pretty crazy when I brake. So it's a good thing that I need to do and maintenance is always key. We're gonna do brakes today and tomorrow we'll do a time belt. So let's get into it. All right, so I got a couple surprises today. Uh, I don't wanna bore you guys with the brake job. So I'm gonna do it real quick, uh, quick how to, you know? And then I got my fat wheel spacers that came in today. So I'm happy that came in pretty early. They are 32 millimeter spacers. So the car should be sitting real nice and i got some hub centric rings just because you know i want to keep the wheel balanced because this is the daily and yeah let's get into it man i'm excited so first things first take off the brake pads you just want to loosen one side so let's see how loose it is there we go got that loose take this out should be wearing gloves get that out get the brake pads out makes life easier so it's these clips right here pull them out pads look pretty good rotors don't pull up. be gentle okay i like to put these back for the time being just a little bit in all right got all the bolts out back here grab it move it to the side Let's just try to sit right there it's not going anywhere you can see the bolts right here one's right down here and luckily this is loose already but sometimes you just gotta hammer it all around but let's take this out so new rotors right here make sure you brake clean them on the outside inside and then we're gonna put it back on all right pro tip sometimes you want to put a lug nut there so it doesn't move around and that way you can put the caliper back on everything's back together tying everything down do the other side and I'm not gonna show that process because i'm excited to try out the wheel spacer so um, I'm gonna get those, put those on, put the wheel on, and put these other side, and I'll show you guys once I put all four on. All right, so this is the space I ordered from Titan. You can see how fat it is, so let me unwrap it and show you guys. Here's that fat spacer. You can kind of see I have it on right there. So I'm not gonna show you everything yet until I put everything on. I did the front brakes already on this side. You can see how much it pokes. I do need to lower a little bit, adjust the camber, but yeah, it's coming along. And I got these top centric rings. They help balance everything out. So let's do the other brakes and go for a ride. I'll show you guys what it looks like after. All right, I got all the spacers on. I did the brakes and here is it with the spacers. Front, pretty good fitment. I'm gonna buy extended lowers so it pushes it for more camber. The rears, pretty close, pretty good. I have plenty of room, no rub, uh, sticks out a lot. I do want to run like a 205 45 and take out the camber, but I need custom, uh, adjustable arms. So, all right, here is the car. Here is it with the spacer. Ah, plenty of room, especially with this 255 tire. Um, I want to run 205 and then take the camber out and have a little bit of poke coming out. So, you know, have a little more of the drift fitment, but it's looking pretty good. It doesn't, it's not hella sunk anymore. I just use some camera arms, but that's definitely on the list for next year. This is good for, you know, cruising down the street and not looking like a sunk car. 
in the front pit, man. Jeez. Pretty good. I think once I get extended lowers, push it out, it's gonna be a perfect fit, man. I might raise the rear the front just a bit and lower the rear a little more, but I do wanna get some aggressive tires for the front, maybe like 215. 215s to get some pendas. But overall. And I drove it on the freeway, no speed wobble, no car didn't shake, it drives good with the spacers, and I think the rotors help fix it. So super excited that this is how the car fits and feels now. Now we can just focus on the time belt tomorrow and then the manual swap next week. So hope you guys are ready for that video. Super short video. I just want to get a video out to you guys. Um, just a simple modification that makes the car look a lot better, a little more aggressive. You know, it doesn't look so sunken. But, uh, you know, it's still a few more steps to make the car look good. And, you know, right now I'm totally content with where it's at. But, you know, tomorrow we're going to focus on the maintenance. So tomorrow, timing belt, we're going to do an overhaul of the timing belt, cam seals, front seals, all that. And then after winter jam, so winter jam will be the next week, 17, 18, we'll be drifting. And then the week after that, Christmas, we'll start on the manual swap. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.